Good morning. This is the fifth time I've tried to attempt this. I've been interrupted, lots of noise, all kinds of stuff. So I'm a little bit frustrated. So I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. <laughs> I'm going to do a crisscross sari wrap today, which everyone had talked about really liking that the other day. And I don't remember if I've done a tutorial. I know I've done the regular crisscross with my two in ones, but this is going to be this, the sari scarves. And the reason I decided to use my saris today, or saris, is because we've been talking on the fan group about how long they are, whether or not they are lightweight enough for summer in the warmer parts of the country. Well, the temperature, the, the whether or not they're good enough for the summer, all depends on the fabric, on the material. In India, women wear sari mainly because they're full coverage, but they're also very lightweight. They're mostly made out of silk. These are silk strips. So my pink one from Rapunzel is pure silk. I don't think there's a piece on here that is not as smooth as butter. So it's definitely one of my favorites. The same thing. The um, earthy one has a couple that's, that aren't super smooth. They have a little bit of grip to them. But those are probably more for the um, not necessarily cooler months. I don't know exactly what temperature it is in the areas of the world that women usually wear saris. But um, I know that a lot of them are very, very, very smooth and silky and absolutely gorgeous. If I had a place to wear one, I would get one. But this is one of the ones I'm using today for all intents and purposes. We were talking about how long they are. I'm going to give you an example. I am five foot four inches tall. This sari is about 65 to 66 inches, which is five feet six, five feet five, something like that. Okay. I am standing up. My heels are on the ground. My feet are against my dresser, so I can't go back any farther. I'm leaning my body back a little bit just to show you the top of my head. But as you can see, this thing is very long. Right now, here it is at my feet. I have to stretch it up that much farther than my head. Actually, I'll walk it up here. That much farther than my head. So it's a good five, uh, five and a half to six feet long. So you've got plenty of length on this. Plenty of room for, for experimentation with tails to do different things. I like wearing them and then wrapping them in a waterfall. That's my personal preference. You can do regal wraps with these really easy. You can do just about any kind of wrap you want with it. I've done braids. I've done double twists. Um, it just depends on what you on the ones that you wear and how you position it on your head. So I'm going to start out doing my crisscross. Since that little hole there is going to get covered, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I'm going to give it a start. And my husband pointed out I've got a tan line on my forehead. I'm like, yay! He said, yes, right there. I'm like, so what? Big deal. It's not like it doesn't get covered up anyway. <laughs> so I'm using my light pink sari from Rapunzel, and I'm going to use my pretty deep ocean jewel tone that I got. I actually got this one off eBay, which I love it, but really I prefer the Rapunzel ones better. I really do. Because I know that they're all going to be very, very soft and they're all so pretty. And I think with Rapunzel, you get a better idea of what they're going to look like color-wise than you do on eBay, per se. I'm excited about the summer launch. Unfortunately, I am too broke to afford anything this time. My husband's going to Tricon at the end of the month for his birthday, which was last month. I bought him VIP tickets and he's really excited. And I wanted to give him extra money to go. So I gave him my tickle fund. Let me see if this works. Because I don't have the back part covered just yet. I wonder if I could... Hmm. If done right, that would cover the entire back of it. Ooh, I think I'm going to try that. Something new! New wrap! Sorry wrap, totally wrapped all the way in the back without having to shove it under that way. I don't wear the ones where they I cover up the back that often because I always end up making a big lump on the back of my head where I'm trying to shove the thing in. Okay, so I'm going to do the pink one first because I've got the top on there with the blue. And I'm going to have to do it kind of funky. I do a little twist in the back there and I just cover it up that way and then I 
swing it around and see if I can find a place to tuck this sucker in. Okay, there's that one. Now I'm gonna do the blue one. Make sure it's nice and spread over there so nothing gets seen. Okay. I hope this stays. It'll be really cool if it does. This is a brand new wrap. I literally just came up with this one. Literally. Yeah, everything's covered. see the back. No, my hair's showing. Oh well. So that one's not going to work. That's okay though. Always fun to experiment. Okay, so I've got those pieces down, so I need to find a little piece to go with it. No big, no big. It's all good. I've got all my saris. Not all my saris. <laughs> I wish I had all my saris. Uh, all my tickles out here on the floor trying to find something to work with this. Well, I've also been, um, I'm going to do a, uh, Tickle Your Truth video. I'm on another group called Tickle Your Truth and we're talking about the colors that we can use that best describe each type. And I said that I would be willing to do a tutorial on the different types, the different colors, the different options that you have and such. So, I'm going to use a pink New York Brights just to make sure that the back is covered very nicely. I think this actually, if you don't cover all of your hair, if you like to leave like a piece hanging, I think that would be really, really pretty with the crisscross saris. I think that would be lovely. Okay. Just that down because I'm sitting on my feet and now my feet are gone to sleep. Oh gosh. Okay, so. Air out my ears for a second. And then I'll try to remember to make this a little bit more crisscross than I did last time. Normally, when I do crisscross, I do one piece in the front crisscross and then I wrap the other ones round like regular. This time I'm going to try to do it the way it's supposed to be done, I suppose. <laughs> I'm going to pull this one over here. And pull this one over there till I can get this all settled out. I'm just tucking it in anywhere I can get it. This is a, a rather long video. It's past 8 minutes and 30 seconds already. Now, I've got one, two, three, four pieces here. What am I going to do? Well, I think I'm going to take these two. I'm going to leave this one down because it's nice and short. those around, tuck them in. I've also got first rehearsal tonight for Children of Eden, and I guess it's just a read-through listening to the music and stuff because nobody knows the music yet. I've listened to a lot of it on YouTube, so that gives me something to do anyway. Okay. I'm going to do my gentleman's tie tie, I suppose. Actually, I'll show you how I do that now that I'm since I'm here anyway. I take the short piece and I let it down there. I take the long piece and I literally just wrap it around in a circle, bring it back around. I stick my finger up underneath that piece that I've pulled in so I can just 
make it easier on myself to pull it down if I have to. And then I just pull it and secure it. I pull one, the short one first to make, it, make sure it's all, and then the second one to make sure it's nice and tight. But there we go. So crisscross sari. And if you do the dressing your truth things or the tickle your truth as we do, this is, I would classify it as a type one. Lots of bright colors, lots of fun patterns and such. This one could also be a type two. I'm a type one primary, type two secondary. So I like to wear a lot of muted colors when, my, when the mood strikes me. And I also like to wear a lot of brights, which I'm usually in brights. That's the type of person that I usually like to be. Very, very bright, very, up, very pretty. And all the, all the types are pretty. All the types are very, very pretty in their own ways. Uh, but most of the tickles I have are type 1 and type 2, and I never could figure out why, why those particular colors uh, appealed to me, and boom! Yep, well, that's why. <laughs> but there you go. Crisscross Sari with a New York Brights in bright, bright pink. I got this from eBay as well. Or did I get it from Amazon? No, Jamie sent these to me. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I have so many of them, I don't know where exactly I get them from. But that's about the saris. Lightweight, long, perfect for summer. You can wear one and do the cover up the back like a lot of people do. Or you can wear two in a crisscross or a regal. It, it's all good. It's all good. They are very, very, they are perfect. I, I love to, tear, uh, to pair them with two-in-ones. I need to pair this one with my teal two-in-one and this one with my peach one. But this has gone on long enough, so see you later.